Hi, I'm Holly Hughes, and I like working with found objects and fiber. This started uh, before I learned how to talk. My very first memory was being in a playpen, a playpen with all those bars, and fiddling around with my shoelaces, and I figured out that I could take my shoelaces out and I could make those shoelaces kind of look like those bars and then I could wiggle them around and they weren't bars anymore. And so very young, I knew that I had a world beyond the world out there. And that was the freedom my shoelaces gave me, which eventually became sewing and the thread connected things together. And then of course it led to drawing and lines that were like lions that roar and tell lots of stories. Um, this piece here is a dollar bill that I made in, starting in August 8, 1988. And on that date, I had been reading about numerology. And that is the science that all numbers have certain vibrations to them and certain energies. And the number 8 of August 8, 1988, there's lots of 8s there. So the eight is a symbol of infinity and of prosperity, which makes me think about the fact that I'm this little dot in the world and I'm reaching forward into the future, but I came from, I don't know where, far, far back. And so on that August 8th, 1988, I started thinking about also money, because money is related to prosperity. I don't really know what my dollar looks like. And I think that just about everyone has a dollar. If you're like a millionaire, or if you're even very, very poor, every American has come across a dollar. And one of the things that my work is about is looking closer. And I challenge you, as you look at this piece, to recognize very familiar everyday things, but look closer. And some things, have some symbolism. Some things are just for color and texture. Um, you may notice when you look closer at George Washington, he has headphones on. Now, George Washington was a great politician and humanitarian. And in my opinion, he was connected not only with his times, but ours as well, because, because we still have the dollar. And so that's why I put headphones on George Washington and speakers up there, sort of symbolic of the idea that money talks. And it does. It is a symbol of power. And with it, we can do lots of things. But paying attention to the smallest parts of dollars, or like single dollars, can build up and give us that power. Um, symbolic of that is this garden hose, because I think that every thought every action that we do is like a seed that we plant. And if we water it and nurture it, then it grows into what that intention was. So that's this garden hose. There's also a trash bag woven in up there. And those are Girl Scout beads, indoor outdoor, oh no, in, indoor outdoor carpeting. And uh, the little piece of plastic that keeps good, fresh carpet clean. Now, this is not on your regular dollar bill, but we have a horse and we have a cow. And of course, they're very representational of America and our plains, our ability to have the great croplands. And without horses and cows, we would never have built the country to be what it is. Also, we are considered like the melting point of the world. So I put a clover here. And money is like plastic. And that's why the whole thing is wrapped in plastic. But money is also not just in one place, in one country. It's we are connected to other countries. So that's why we have this plastic a, a, a credit card. But we also have a plastic other piece of money here. And I have to confess that when I work, very often it is just um, for color and texture and 
I'll grab what fits here and I'll put this chess piece here because, you know, a little politician is a little bit like chess game and life is like a chess game. You've got to think ahead and you have to plan. But, but this particular dollar or piece of money, I did not really know what it was when I put it in here. I knew it was foreign money. I knew it was Saudi Arabian money. But I did not know 1988 the relationship between Saudi Arabia and finances and money and what I know now. And so I think that's kind of fun because all art that I have done, when I look back, tells me more stories. This is what I think gives me the passion to keep making art because I learn from it after the fact. You know, there's always something that I'm doing and don't really know that it's symbolic until later. Um, this whole dollar was made on a curtain, a curtain that's like in your living room. However, how many people know that what makes those pleats in the curtain is this little piece of wire and that's called the beauty pleats. Something else that's very common is, um, not very common, um, but important symbolically is this zipper. And that was a zipper from a Vietnam War veteran's pants. Um, something that's sort of, I think, unique originating in America would be these little spinning things. They're Tupperware sock sorters. And uh, the records, now they're we don't have records, but we're not, in this time period, we used a lot of records, and this record happens to be called the Soulful Strut. If you look closer, you'll see other things like shredded documents. Um, they came from the bank that I was at at that time. And you can look here and see batteries and army men and cowboys all mixed up together and a plastic um, firecracker that looks like a grenade. So there's just a little bit of all different things melded into my dollar.